Hello friends. In this video, we will study the various types of applications of measurement systems. How we can classify the applications of measurement system and we will see some examples of these applications also. So let us start with our topic. whenever we study any subject or any topic then we want to see that what is the use of that subject where that system will be used so whenever we see the measurement system then our main aim or motive is to find out that how the measurement systems they are useful to us how we can use the measurement systems in our day-to-day -day life and what are their applications okay so here we will study the applications of measurement system and before studying these application first of all we will classify these applications the types of applications because the measurement systems they can be used in a wide variety of application areas okay so we will classify these application areas into three major categories that the applications of measurement system how we can categorize them so if we see these applications can be classified into three major categories So we are in general, we are broadly classifying them. Okay. First area is the monitoring of process of processes and operations. Second, control of processes. And operations and third is experimental engineering analysis so the applications of measurement systems they can be classified into three broad major categories monitoring of process and operation like for monitoring also the measurement systems can be used for control of processes and operations also it is used and in the experimental engineering analysis also the measurement systems are used now we will study these categories in detail and we will see some examples of measurement systems also that fall under these categories so first is the monitoring of processes and operations So by the term this monitoring of processes and operations it means that we are using the measurement system or the measuring device to keep track of some quantity okay means it is monitoring some quantity okay like we want to measure the temperature in an industry okay in an industry we are using the we have to measure the temperature of various instruments okay like there are uh, the cleans also there are the uh, uh, refineries also okay so we have to keep a track of the temperature of each of the device that whether the temperature is crossing its limit or not okay so we have to monitor the temperature all the time so at that time we are using the measuring devices so measuring devices can be used for monitoring of the processes and the operations like here it is keeping uh, it is keeping a track of that quantity okay the measuring device is used to keep track of some quantity
let's see some examples of the measuring systems in this category examples are thermometers radars and anemometers Thermometer is used to measure the temperature, barometer, pressure, radar for the signals and the anemometers. All these are used by the weather department to keep a track over these quantities. Okay. So what these uh, measuring devices they are indicating, they are just giving us the they are telling us about the condition of the environment okay that how the temperature is varying how pressure is varying how much humidity is varying okay what is the speed of the wind okay so if whatever these uh, uh, measuring devices they are telling us they that is the just the condition of the environment okay but these devices they do not the quantities means that in these measuring devices there is no control function only the monitoring or tracking of that quantity or is being done by them okay thermometer is tracking the temperature barometer is tracking the pressure okay but no controlling function is present in these measuring devices so that comes under the category of monitoring of processes and operation these are an examples of the measurement systems and these measurement systems they fall under the first category of application now if we see some other examples of this then we have the water, gas and electric meters. Which are present in our home. In homes also we have the water meter which is giving us the readings that how much water is being consumed by us. Gas meter is there that how much gas is being consumed by us. Electric meter is there. So all these meters they give us the value of the quantity which is being consumed by us during a month. Okay. But there is no controlling function present in them. They are just monitoring the quantity. They are just taking that how much amount is being consumed okay so that we can uh, compute that uh, how much cost is being us like how much water is being consumed by us so we can calculate the cost according to it how much gas and how much electricity is being used now if we see some examples in the automotive industry then the speedometer fuel gauge they also belong to the this category of applications like monitoring is done over there speedometer it keeps a track over the speed of the automobile fuel gauge it keeps a track over the fuel consumption that how much fuel is present in it outdoor temperature sensor again it is going to sense the temperature and compass it gives us the direction so all these are in example of the measurement system which are used in the automobile industry so you can see that the applications of measurement system in these areas they can be uh, summed up in one category which is the monitoring of processes and operations where the measuring device it is going to just keep a track over the quantity it is not going to provide any controlling function just the quantity is being measured by it so we can say that the measuring device is just acting as a sensor over there okay now second category of applications is
Now in this type of applications here the measuring system is going to provide the controlling to the systems. Okay. It will act as a controlling element. Now this type of application is a very important and it refers to an automatic feedback control system. If we see the diagram for an automatic feedback control system, it will consist of here we will have the input, then we will have process, disturbances are there. It will give us a controlled variable. So input is given to the system. On this system, there are various disturbances that can act on that system. Then there the output of this process is the controlled variable. Okay. Now measuring instrument is going to measure it and give it to the controller that whether the value which we want, that is the desired value, is that value equal to the output? If it is not equal, then make the changes in the input so that we can get the controlled variable, the value which we desire. Okay. So desired value is given as an input that the controller is going to check that whether the measured value is equal to the desired value or not. It is going to generate the error and make some variations in the input so that we can get our desired output. So this is an automatic feedback control system you can see that the measuring instrument is present in the feedback here okay so it is acting as a very important part in the system that it is giving it is measuring the value and it is providing it as an input to the controller now if we see an example of this type of application of measurement system then one of the example is the hot wire anemometer. This hot wire anemometer, it is a device which is used for measuring the rapidly varying fluid velocity. By measuring the changes in the temperature okay so it can measure the rapidly varying fluid velocity if we are not using feedback no feedback is present then in that case it can measure the value of the velocity in the frequency range less than about 100 Hertz Okay, so when if no feedback is present in the system, but if feedback is present, then the frequency limit it can be increased up till 30,000 hertz, making this instrument hot wire anemometer more useful to us. Okay, so if we are using the feedback, then the application, the range of the use of that instrument can be increased. Also, it is playing a very important part in the feedback that the controlled variable is provided to it and it is giving an input to the controller. Also, if we see, this was our first example, hot wire anemometer. If we see its example in our automobile industry, then the car is speed control system. 
okay in that the car speed control system if the um, driver it is seeing that it has to stop the car or it has to uh, uh, it has to reduce the speed okay so it is again going to press the brakes it is going to reduce the speed put it uh, uh, put some pressure over the accelerator okay and uh, reduce the pressure over the accelerator speed will be reduced and the car will be spot stop so the car speed control system is also an example of this also robot arm position anti lock braking system air conditioning system in all these systems you can see that the measuring instrument it is providing the measured value okay and that measured value is being compared with the desired value and then the uh, measures are being taken over the system okay some controlling is being done over it that is why these applications they come under the category of control of processes and operations so not only they are monitoring but also they are controlling okay so these are the some of the applications of measurement system under the second category the last category is the experimental engineering analysis okay so the measurement systems they not only monitor or control the process but if uh, if we see that in the engineering whatever uh, we if we want to do some research then that research is based on the experiments and also on the theory okay so we have to do some experiments over using that instrument so to do some research we have to do the experiment that is we have to be based our theory on the uh, experiments also that is performed in the lab and also on the theory of that okay so this branch of engineering that is experimental branch or research branch it consists of the design development and research this category of applications is consists of design also development also and research also okay so here if you want to do the research then research is based on theory also and experimentation also okay so the measuring systems they are used in the laboratories to perform like small instruments they are used to perform those experiments and then those experiments they are implemented for on a larger basis okay so the experimental engineering analysis this will include all engineering experiments okay so we know that the measurement systems they are used in the uh, laboratories for performing the experiments and for doing the research purpose so this category involves only the engineering class okay engineering analysis over that those applications are included in this category so we have seen that how the measurement systems their applications they can be divided into three major categories monitoring of processes and operations control of processes and operations and experimental engineering analysis we have seen some examples of measurement system under these categories also so i hope that this topic applications of measurement systems is now clear to you thank you